Hey everyone, here's an announcement that I've made already in a few different places. I tweeted about it, I um, mentioned it in a stream that I did a while ago that I know not everyone saw, and I did it in a YouTube video uploaded to the official hard drive channel, which I am no longer in charge of. As of about a month ago actually, I am no longer the video producer at hard drive, I've effectively left in any kind of professional capacity. I still, um, I've written a few articles to them since, I may continue to do so afterwards because I'm on good terms with them, but uh, I just wanted to do this video to have it here on this channel um, to kind of say this definitively and maybe explain things a bit better and and, uh, and uh, just answer a few questions people have, though I won't be going into full detail about everything for the sake of not being unprofessional of course. I do worry about people thinking that I'm like dragging this out or whatever and you know I've announced it at, this is like the fourth different place now but I've had some people kind of bugger me saying like hey I, I can't watch that stream or that VOD um, I don't know what's going on what, what were you saying what you're talking about I just want to have this here uh, so that when I start uploading again which we'll get to in a minute I don't have any questions I don't have people comment on the video saying oh you're back now you're just doing this again like what happened what's the deal because I know not everyone here went over to hard drive and uh, not everyone knows that I have a new Twitter account because I got permanently suspended for threatening to beat up a bunch of young conservatives uh, that's actually what the, that's actually what they're called they're called young conservatives they're like a little fucking organization of stupid cunts um, yeah I threatened to beat them up I didn't th I didn't actually threaten to beat them up I said I could beat them up because they all look like Harry Potter but yeah I did that um, I threatened to beat the landlord I did actually threaten that um, I did a few things so my my new Twitter account is here if you want to come and enjoy that hell site with me until it inevitably explodes I'm doing this entirely without a script, uh, just co totally off the cuff, so if, if I stum stammer and stutter a lot, then there you go, that's why, but I'm going to try and go pretty fast and just cover all possible bases, so yes, um, I have left hard drive, I'm still on good terms with them, my reasoning was partially financial, uh, basically I, I was already getting paid for the past six months less than I was in the first six months I was there for reasons that I won't go into uh, but eventually not not too long ago I was informed one day that their the resources were no longer there to convert the money that I was making for hard drive from dollars to pounds which of course is my local currency so for example in either October or November or whenever it was uh, on the hard drive channel I made five hundred dollars in ad revenue and up until then, the dollar amounts from hard drive had always been converted into pounds because that just made sense. And I was I was told that that could no longer be the case. I don't know the exact percentile on this or the exact conversion rate, but pounds are worth about 1.5 times, maybe a bit less uh, dollars. So when I made the $500 in the hard drive YouTube channel, I was expecting to get 500 pounds. But because the resources were no longer there to convert that, I uh, instead just got less. I just I got it fully in dollars, which actually converted to about four hundred pounds. So I just made a hundred pounds less than I would have if I repeated those exact same figures and numbers on this channel. And you can understand why that you know that was an issue for me, especially because I hadn't been promoting my Patreon very much at all in the hard drive videos because that would have felt kind of kind of grimy to me because you know I'm I'm. I'm supposed to be a representative of hard drive. I never asked them if I could do that. They never said no. I just assumed, I assumed that we at hard drive would eventually be starting our own Patreon and maybe that could be used to, you know, plug in these gaps and uh, I could promote that instead. And that was really the big sticking point that I eventually left over is I, I had been bugging management for months on end about starting a Patreon because, uh, well, it just made sense. It just makes all the sense in the world, right? If we're struggling, especially having seen what happened with The Escapist and Second Wind, it occurred to me that like almost all of the cool creative stuff left on YouTube can only exist, or even on the internet as a whole, most of it can only really exist because of fan funding. This is what I was telling management and we could not agree. I, I, I still kind of baffles me. It, it blows my mind a bit as to why if we're struggling and we can't convert dollars to pounds for my payment that we don't have a patreon but it's not my it's not my business anymore that that was a a key thing that eventually played into my decision i also had some disagreements with management i generally didn't like some of the decisions that were being made i had i had some issues with 
direction that it's being taken. I'm not the only one. I've seen some people saying on the video uploaded on hard drive, like, oh, this guy's all over the place. Oh, you know, fucking, I'm not even like a top three most important person who left recently in the past few months, okay? It's not just me. Uh, I'm not going to go into full detail about it in the interest of trying to retain some semblance of professionalism but if you knew my details in full in my my, my details um my reasoning in full i like to believe you'd get where i'm coming from this is not the snyder hard drive at all i'm still on good terms with the remaining management i have a lot of love and respect for hard drive they were awesome to me they allowed me complete creative freedom they did genuinely try to pay me as much as they could for as long as they could which is something that i will always respect and appreciate them for there was actually a point where i knew the company was struggling and this you, you could say this is f fucking stupid of me but i actually went to the the ceo and i said to him hey man like if you've got to pay me a bit less uh then that's okay do that i was getting paid per rate per video at the time and i said if you instead just want to let me take the revenue at the end of the month and like don't technically pay me anything so it's technically kind of like a flat even thing we can do that and he actually said no like i totally gave up all of my leverage as an employee and he said no we'll keep paying you these better rates for as long as we can and it doesn't matter how many issues i have and how many problems i have with the decisions made by management that's fucking awesome, and 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 it's for that reason that I will my my positive experience will always outweigh my negative experience. But yeah, I had some issues, I had some problems, and we couldn't come to an agreement. I just couldn't, I just couldn't stick around, you know. And it makes make, make me sad that I couldn't, because I really did enjoy it there. I love the people who I met there, some of the coolest fucking people I've ever known. I, I being part of Hard Drive was a huge. Uh, I took it as a real badge of honor. Yeah, I, I was really proud of it, but them's the breaks you know my run ends at just over about 18 months um but i need to think about myself i, I have too much self-worth to work for so little money and they understood this he you know they said like yeah no if you think you're worth more than this and we probably agree then then don't feel like you have to stick around like i would never ask you to, to do that so there you go left on good terms that's that so i guess the question becomes what's next and for all intents and purposes, uh, what's next right now is I'm back. I'm going to be back to uploading on this channel like I was before. Only it's not going to be the same as it was before. Um, you know, I'm not coming back to just do the same thing. I learned a lot of things at Hard Drive. I learned two crucial lessons, two things that I think are really important. One of them, I'm going to keep to myself for now. I want to, I want to try and employ it or implement it on this channel going forward and see how that works for me. And I think that's going to help my approach to the new stuff I'm making. The other one is what I was saying earlier about fan funding, that most of the cool stuff that can exist on the internet now is only possible through fan funding. And I retroactively feel quite bad about how shelved a lot of my patrons were. You know, I, I used to have their names in the end credits at the end of the video and, and, and give them shout outs and stuff. And I haven't been doing that. Um, I want to get back on that. I want to I want to do more stuff with uh, with Patreon and with patrons. I will be putting people's name back in the credit names back in the credits and uh, you know saying some of them in videos. Oh my god, try not to freak out. I am a generous, I'm a generous god. I won't be doing a Discord. Uh, I said that before. I just I just won't. Um, so to anyone who has ever been a patron of mine for any period of time, I want to say thank you so much and how much i appreciate you and how much how important that contribution is to me um if you're not convinced by this to to jump back on and, and to pledge to me again i get it i understand it especially since what i'm working on going forward uh is not a known quantity and i know i'm being very vague about what i'm working on but i don't like to talk about things until they're real you know i've been working a lot on this thing and expending a lot of resources and you'll see it in like mid to late january um Maybe then, uh, you know, uh, jump back on and, and pledge and support. Or don't, you know, it's your life. I'm not going to guilt trip you into giving me money. Um, just want to reiterate how thankful I am for those people who do and how important that is to me. So thank you. Um, this stuff I'm going to be doing going forward is going to be the biggest and most ambitious stuff I've ever done. I, I've... I don't want to say too much, but part of the reason this video is so delayed is that I was going to record it in a very alternative method that is currently not possible but um should hopefully be quite soon and i'll, I'll be able to show that stuff off um the uh, the thought of what i'm going to be doing quite soon scares the fuck out of me i've wanted to do it for ages since i started on youtube literal years ago but i've always put it off because of how much the idea intimidates me but 
now I think it's finally the time. You know, my, my last pro fucking Hail Mary. If I didn't have this idea to potentially execute on, then leaving hard drive would have been a lot more devastating to me, and I'd feel a lot sadder about it. And I'd be I'd be seriously contemplating my future and, and walking away and just doing something else with my life. You know, because it, it has been a bit rough going these past few years, though I do recognise that a lot of that is self-inflicted. But I had this idea. I had this thing I want to do. Big, ambitious, scary, and the fact that it scares me so much tells me that I probably have got to do it. So uh, I hope you look forward to that. Like I say, mid to late January. It should be fun uh, and scary, but I'm going to fucking do it. The biggest, craziest fudge shit you've ever seen in your life is coming. They said white boys can't cook. Let me try it. <laughs> I'm going to put some spice in it. Don't think I won't. I, in the lead up to that, I will be streaming quite a bit more. Uh, hopefully the day after this video goes up, a day from this video goes up. So like tomorrow now, uh, time confusing. Uh, December 23rd, Saturday, I will be streaming on my Twitch channel, Nocturnal Fudge. Um, I'm going to be streaming Katamari Damacy if everything goes right. And hopefully it will, because it hasn't previously gone right when I've tried to stream this game. But I had some controller problems that I think I've got sorted. Uh, I'll be streaming around the kind of Christmas New Year period, not on Christmas Day, but I'll be streaming quite a bit. Uh, hopefully after that's done, maybe I'll even get a Resident Evil 2 remake done, which I've been wanting to play for a while that I got on Steam recently, so that should be fun. Uh, for updates on when and where I'll be streaming, I'm, I'm always streaming at twitch.tv forward slash nocturnal fudge. Uh, but for updates on when I'm streaming, uh, my, Twitter, my Twitter page that I showed off earlier and the um, YouTube community posts are a good way to keep up with that. Uh, keep up with that. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. I hope I've answered all your questions. I hope this all makes sense and hasn't seemed to a rag. And I hope you're excited for the future. I'm going to give this thing one last earnest go. Let's fucking do this thing that makes me shit my pants in fear. And see what happens. The future is as exciting as it is scary. Which means it's very exciting. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you soon.